In question one of this exercise, we have to find each of the following products. So let's start with part A in which we have to calculate 3 times minus 1. So ignoring the negative signs, the magnitude of the product will be 3 into 1 or 3. And since one integer is positive and the other is negative, the sign of the product will be negative. So the product in this case will be equal to minus 3. Okay. Then in part 2, in part B, we have the product minus 1 into 225. So the magnitude of the product will be 1 into 225 or 225 and the sign of the product will be negative since the first integer is negative and the second is positive. So in this case, the product will be minus 225. Then in part C, we have the product minus 21 into minus 30. Ignoring the negative signs, the magnitude of the product will be 21 into 30, uh, which is equal to 630. And the sign of the product will be positive because both the integers are negative. So in this case, the product will be 630. Then in part D, we have the product minus 316 into minus 1. So the magnitude will be 316 into 1 or 316. And the sign will be positive. Sign of the product will be positive since both integers are negative. So in this case, the product will be 316. Then in part E, we have the product minus 15 into 0 into minus 18. Since one of the terms in the product is 0, we can directly say that the overall product will also be 0. So in this case, the answer will be 0. Then in part F, we have to calculate minus 12 into minus 11 into 10. So this product has three terms. Let's first calculate the product of the first two terms. Let's first calculate minus 12 into minus 11. So the magnitude of the, their product will be 12 into 11, which is 132 and the sign will be positive. So we will get 132 into the third term in the product. So 132 into 10 or 1320. So this is the product in part F. Then in part G, we have to calculate 9 into minus 3 into minus 6. Again, there are three terms in the product. So let's first calculate 9 into minus 3. So this will be equal to the magnitude is 27 and uh, one term is negative, minus 3 is negative. So we have minus 27 as the product, minus 27 into the third multiplier, the third term which is minus 6. So this product will be equal to 162. Then in part H, we have to calculate minus 18 into minus 5 into minus 4. Once again, we have three terms. So let's first calculate minus 18 into minus 5. So the magnitude of the product will be 18 into 5 or 90 and the sign will be positive. So this will be equal to 90. Uh, the sign is positive because both of these integers are negative. So we get 90 into uh, minus 4, the third term. And 90 into minus 4 will be how much? So the magnitude will be 90 into 4 or 360 and the sign will be negative. So we will get minus 360. Okay, then in part i, we have minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 3 into 4. So this time we have four terms. So let's first calculate minus 1 into minus 2. This will be equal to 2 because it will be positive because uh, both the integers are negative. So we have 2 into minus 3 into 4. Now let's calculate 2 into minus 3. So 2 into minus 3 will be equal to minus 6 because magnitude uh, is 6 and sign will be negative. So minus 6 into 4. And what is minus 6 into 4? So 6 into 4 is 24. So we will get minus 24. So that's the answer for part i. And then finally in part j, we have the product minus 3 into minus 6 into minus 2 into minus 1. So we can do the same thing we did in the previous part. We can multiply uh, starting from the left side or what we can do is we can also note that there are four um, negative integers. So the number of negative integers is even. Hence the eventual product will be positive. And what will be the magnitude of the product? So it will be 3 into 6 which is 18, 18 into 2 which is 
36 36 into 1 which is 36 so the product will simply be 36 and with a positive sign so just 36 so you can directly calculate the product in this manner as well so that's the answer for part j and with this we have completed question number one to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.